name is Sharon and I really love praying the word because the word really comes alive when you make it personal and you dive into other people's stories and um, so many lessons in here and one that really speaks to me so powerfully right now is about putting on the armor of God and that's found in Ephesians chapter 6 verses 10 to 18. And um, I usually think about that one in the New King James Version where it says, well, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against um, powers and against rulers of darkness of this age. And um, I just want to pray with you um, today how to put the armor of God on, because we always hear about the armor of God, but how do we actually do that in our everyday life? So I just want to pray Ephesians 6, 10 to 18 now, putting on the full armor of God. Lord, help me to be strong in the Lord and in your mighty power. Help me to put on all of your armor so that I will be ready to stand firm against all the strategies of the devil against me. I know that the battles I face are not with the people around me. They're not against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world against mighty powers in this dark world and against evil spirits in heavenly places. Lord, please help me to remember to always put on every piece of your armor so that I will be able to resist the enemy in these times when he tries to attack me, so that when the battle is over, I will still be standing firm in you. Help me to stand ready for whatever comes my way as I put on the belt of truth, which is Jesus. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to you except through him, your one and only son. I'm putting on the breastplate of righteousness, choosing with your help to live a life that honors you and in turn will guard my heart as I walk in your ways. On my feet, I'm putting on the peace that comes from your good news. That hope is not canceled, but it's found in Christ Jesus alone. So I'll always be ready to share how you have been real in my life and that this can be true in everybody else's life as long as they receive you as their saviour. I'm holding up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows from the devil who constantly tries to attack me in my everyday life with lies about my identity and trying to bring division in my relationships, confusion and doubt and trouble. Lord, I'm holding up the shield of faith, believing that you are always with me and I can trust you. You are my protector and my God. My identity is found in you. And lastly, Lord, I'm putting on the helmet of salvation and taking up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God that I have right here before me now, reminding me of your promises that I am not forsaken, I am a child of God, and that you are good all the time. Thank you, Lord, for your promises. In Jesus' name, amen. And you can do this too. All I've done is go straight into the scripture and personalize it. I made it real to me, how God speaks to me through his word. So all you need to do is just open these pages and personalize it and make it your own and let God speak to your heart. God bless you, aloha. Thank you.